Hey, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here. Welcome back to the Open Cube Iron Man. We are now Plat, which is interesting. My first time down here in forever. Like I said, last time I was Plat was Season 1 of Overwatch 2, which is like a year and a half ago. And uh, having to play DPS in Open has brought me back there again. And I actually don't think it's purely because DPS suck. I think it's because a lot of people got weak mental in Open Cube. And uh, DPS picks just happen to expose that. But uh, yeah, probably gonna do Soldier, then some Hanzo, then some Mei. And from there I can just play like carry type DPS that can actually get a lot of the kills their symbol, uh, themselves, or at least I can get a lot of the kills myself on them. You know, like Pharah, Reaper, Torb, uh, Echo, you know, Bastion, stuff like that, where you can really do a lot of work uh, just on your own, regardless of teammates AFK. This Widow, if your teammates are completely AFK and they have a ball dive on you, you're probably dead. Tracer, you have to be good at the game and the character to get value. What do I do on this map, actually? I might I might just lock Hanzo earlier than lands. I was ready to do Soldier now, but... Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, this map's not awful for him, it's just not too great. I don't know. I'd rather play Hanzo on Circuit. And there's like a decent chance of us winning because we are down in the depths. Like I am the low range where it says max rank range in the top right. I am the low part of that. I am the plat one. This is like the first time it's been like that forever. is isn't the first time it's been like that. The, the first time uh, it was like that was back in season three when I was getting put in like streamer lobbies when I was like plat four. Like uh, I got into a lobby with wasn't Skiesti, but there's another uh, Mercy player. Somnus, Somnus. I didn't know who they were at the time, but they mentioned that they were a streamer at some point. Did voice chat because uh, I was on their team. Uh, yeah, that was interesting. It is a cool fucking skin, man. Like, say what you will about the balance of this game, and if Ryan's even fun to play, but the, the Ryan skin is cool. Pretty fucking well done at that. You can see they got a lot of tanks here, whiffing all my ears, as you shouldn't, and it's really actually hard to whiff this many ears in a row. Uh, but yeah, you basically just spam Storm Arrow on cooldown and get all your value that way. <laughs> Follow up from our Ryan is funny. I shot Mega the entire time and he somehow healed off of something. Yeah, as long as our Ryan lives here, should be fine. I don't know how his shield snapped like that, that was super weird. I haven't seen anything like that in a while. He doesn't know about the, the fact that Ryan can turn shield without having to turn physically. Or maybe it's because I'm at 200 ping now and I, uh, I'm playing Guess Watch again. Such an annoying, consistent problem to have. And you not, Hanzo? That's another one. Answer that question honestly. Tell him why I'm stuck on the heat. I will say, in this situation, you mirror the Mauga, you don't go D.Va. Because we need the uh, damage to finish off of him. The only way D.Va is the right pick here is if you see him doing enough on Hanzo. Which I'm not going to be able to, I'll be I'll keep it a stack, but I guess to be fair. They have no way of knowing that. I did right I have 200 something ping, but you just have to like believe that. There's no way to like verify there or whatever. Yeah, there's that headshot diff coming to play. Hanzo, like eight months ago, would have gotten the kill there. You can see I shot a few storm arrows through the window, and Mauga was put down to three health. Saved my diva, I guess. That wall climb maneuver is definitely unexpected, especially by their hog. I heard Kiri climbing there, which is why I did that. So, Ryan is trying to save our Ana, which is not gonna work here. 
my ping also, like my internet doesn't want to work either. I love having to guess where they're at and just kind of spam randomly. To be fair, I don't think I'd be too too much differently on Hanzo, but I do think I'd be killing more, and I wouldn't have gotten so close to that Ryan who physically was not on my screen all of one second ago. I'm lagging so much I don't even get a kill cam. <laughs> the game doesn't want me to know what I'm supposed to have been seeing. Instead, I get to watch Ryan pin through the map. Yeah. really do have to wonder what the fuck's going on with my wife. Because it is good Wi-Fi. Like, if I open up speed test or something right now, I'd have, like, fucking 200 megabytes download and, like, 30 to 40 upload, which is all you need. But, uh... So it's not good enough for Overwatch, either that or someone is downloading a lot of things at 3 in the morning, at, which I just don't believe is true because they're asleep, <laughs> as far as I know. Maybe there's someone outside the house, so like in a different apartment or whatever, yeah? but most people around here are pretty old and be shocked that they're doing a lot on their computers. We're using my Wi-Fi to be uh, a little bit extra clear, it's like it's our Wi-Fi, it's not shared between all of us random people I don't know. Oh, he's nanid. That was a mistake. My ping's still not cooling down. Unfortunate. Hey, you can see... A lot of things here. <laughs> We're getting good damage after just matching that with solid heal numbers and then getting solid finishes with tank abilities. This is why stats aren't good to be looking at. I think we need more tanks. I think we need better tank selections, but I'm not going to really say that. See what happens. Bastion's not bad. This is good. <laughs> Six percent win rate is insane, and it's gonna stay that way. It's a really funny stat. I feel like my ping was fine in the spawn room, and then the second we walk out of it, I'm back to like 200. I wasn't looking at the number though, it just felt smoothly. See my teammates walking in straight lines and shit. What the hell, man? Oh, whatever. We got solid comp here. Good work. Somehow hit the Mauga by an absolute fucking miracle. And we're gaming. <laughs> 200 something thing. This is this is just insane. Like I'm I'm starting to get used to how shit this looks. <laughs> it's, it's a variable 200 thing. We're down to two oh we're we're down to 188. We're going back to 202. Oh boy, how exciting. Very exciting times. Yes, watch. I'm actually happy that I'm doing Hanzo right now because he is he is a spam character, so I can spam common angles and pretty consistently hit something. He used to not be a spam character, but they changed him to be one, and now he is. And it's actually pretty neat for this challenge. It's unfortunate there because I didn't even know I was low until I died. Look at his perspective. 
He's slowly beaming me. Oh no, he actually did. That was actually just a fast death to recon Bastion. That's just a pretty rare thing to happen, so I wasn't ready for Is that good? Oh. Oh, yep. Definitely. <laughs> nice. My Ryan was not ready for it. I thought I heard us pop windows, so I figured he would die to that instead. And that's what would make that bad in a waste. But that isn't what happened. And they also just let a cat point there for some reason. So it ended up being way bigger. Which is always nice. It's always a big W. Gotta be careful. I mean, look at my health bar. But you hear the sound effects. Watch my arrows not spawn in. I'm doing consistent button inputs. Oh, there. I have no clue. Oh, am I floor dripping now? I am almost like half a second behind on information. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep spamming this angle. Hoping that I'm actually at the angle I think I am. And uh, keep it going. What the actual fuck was that bastion on? How far in the depths are we? And how are we losing to that? On deep. It's wild. Rip that guy. <laughs> Good ult. I had a decent finisher on it. Nice. Nice. <laughs> it's really that easy. We play a better comp, we play characters we're comfortable on, and we win. This guy asked if I'm a thrower and then locked the fuck in. That's exactly what you want to see in your games. <laughs> Hell yeah. You might win Hanzo on the first try with 300 ping. <laughs> and teammates complaining. And a second DPS on my team. In open queue. Uh, I, I don't have any... I'm trying to think of other funny clickbait type things to say. But I can't. It's so fucking late at night slash early in the morning. Depending on how you count it. <laughs> yeah. It is nice now, now, now that we're low enough when people scout my profile and see that I'm higher rank and everything else, and then I just had like a massive fall, they're like, okay, I think this guy's like hard throwing, or I'm about to get like a free win. And I mean, it's always true. I don't have to be like a Master Sanzo for this to be a winnable game. I'm not doing anything particularly insane. I might be positioning a tiny bit safer than the average Plat Hanzo, but I'm sure not aiming any better. Doing anything super fancy if they can't. Oh, rip our friend. Even hit the, the wrap around. Never mind. Mine is the goot. Actually, insane how the fuck he both lived and managed to pin someone out of there. Like, getting out of there while pinning is already impressive enough, because that's, that's like certain death. But he pinned out and brought someone with him. And, like, damaged them with they, while he had his Arya that could have bubbled to save that guy. Actually, insane. They're running. Yeah, they don't know what to do, man. They're not used to fighting single supports down here. It's like a really strong strategy an awful lot of the time. Obviously double support is better, but you need your tanks to play pretty perfectly for that to matter. So this support can often be a lot more value because people will always fuck up and as long as you're healing the right people, like the better players will heal themselves off a of health pack or whatever. Which is especially more available if they have two supports and they don't have to care about them as much. Over too deep. I guess the fuck not. <laughs> it's wild that like this just completely turned around. You guys want our Ryan.
Holy shit, dude. How bad do you have to be for that interaction there to happen? That's a little ridiculous. What I just was a fucking part of, and then they see nine. Insane, man. What game are we playing? Wait, any of this happens. The Moira chased me with Cole and lost to raw ass Hanzo with no support. I didn't get healed by anyone or anything. I didn't get any immortals, didn't get any left shifts. And then, like, their team wins the fight and just completely C9s the point. Like, what the hell, man? <laughs> That's wild. It's okay, he's got the primary skin. <laughs> <laughs> so true, man. Why is it pink? It was red. Is just like the lighting in here? All that money just to suck. You don't get money by playing video games unless you're really lucky. You get money by working, which means you play less video games, which means you are bound to suck. Yeah, giving money to Blizzard is is an interesting movie. It can be rough though, some of these fucking cosmetics look so damn good. And if they do fix the game, you're gonna regret not getting them. That's if they fix the game, and I have little confidence in that, which is why I'm waiting for free battle pass tier rewards to buy this skin instead of just spending five dollars to get it. Like how now that I'm not lagging, like my shots have been harder to hit because I've been actually aiming them and whiffing them like normal instead of just spamming down main. I'm not even aiming them high enough to hit heads, I'm just hitting consistent bodies. Until I said that, then I summoned a headshot. Bits of hell. How insane would it be if they turned this around? Just like hard held us in this corner. More than likely though is that they're just gonna C9 it. <laughs> they're getting a little too close for comfort. We get one win there, and the game will end itself. This Bastion should have died to Farah. I don't know why she's not shooting him. Whatever. Just do this. Walk on the cart. The loot ever is segregated. The like 8 second delay on that Moira kill is insane. Did that ricochet back off the wall or something? Just, I'm assuming Shatter's coming. You don't know if he doesn't have Shatter here. Then again, he just did that pin, which was like game losing instantly. Didn't have any run shield, but we also didn't need it. Just on a defending point solo and actually almost winning, then then they C9 did again. C9 X2. Sanity. <laughs> That's wild. Double C9 is wild. It's been a fucking long time since I saw someone C9 and not think about it in the next player. Or think about it and then not perform, which is even worse. I think what might have been like even happened there with well, a tea bag in the play of the game. My goat, bro, I love Beefy. Even if he was on the enemy team, but yeah, just like that, we're back to diamond. That's that's flat for you. It's a, a bit of a joke. Even in open queue, especially in open queue, I'd say actually, because open key rank is a lot less meaningful. But yeah, uh, we got our win on Hanzo. I think he'll be at a hundred percent win. Right? Should have been our first game on him. Yeah, Hanzo's gonna be our highest win rate character in this challenge. Interesting. And Genji might be the lowest. I don't know if any other character will make me hit a 19 win uh, loss streak. That that was a wild ride. And probably like a four hour video whenever I get around to splicing it together and editing it. But uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed that. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.